hope I look back on this log and I'm able to say this is the one that made me get rich. Some lady apparently had some coordinates to some forgotten tech cache way out into the nowheres of space. Even more importantly, what's on there is worth a lot of credits, and she's willing to fork over a bit for it. Seems too easy, but if what she's saying is true, this could turn my whole life around. Then we can start playing big boy games. In the darkest depths of space, there always seems to be another opportunity to make money and find influence and power. And another one of those has now stumbled its way into Roughshot's lap. The promise of money, power, and rare supplies just a few days west for him to find. Welcome back to Star Sector, everybody. And I'm very excited to keep playing. And I didn't mean west, actually, I meant south, but hey, I was monologuing, and so I'm not gonna stop myself, otherwise it would sound even worse. We've got a lot to do today, but uh, in case you're curious what I'm talking about, uh, let's actually quickly open up our intel real quick. And I recently, at a bar, somebody came to me saying, hey, listen, there's a pre-domain error tech cache a decent distance away, and I have it on good authority that within it is gonna be an AI core. You can have everything else. Just bring me the AI core and I'll pay you for the service. We're, it's way down here. 37 days at base burn level and we are way over here. Before we go there though, and we are gonna try and make that trip today and hope that it works out. We have uh, one, I'd like to head out of here, stay in the core worlds for a little while, restock and maybe pick up one more ship a cargo carrier, something that I can put more loot in. Because if we're real, our fleet, while it's great, doesn't have a lot of space. We have a decent amount of fuel that we can now kind of, uh, you know, use that down here, the cardboard box and the stellar rows. But we don't have much in terms of carrying capacity. So what I'd like to do, like I said, is stay in the core worlds for now. And what I'd, uh, ideally, we're just going to go shopping and see if we can get ourselves a better cargo ship. So. In the sector, uh, we're going to, like I said, we're going to stay in the core worlds here. And you can see, actually, I kind of put on the core worlds. You can actually see the names of everything here. Um, we are, where are we? Well, we, I want to go to the hegemony anyway. So it's not, he, you know, actually, you know what? We're, let's go to the core. We're right here. Let's go to the Corvus system and then we'll hit Galatia and see if we can find anything. Also, thank you for the tips. I am, I promise I am trying to, uh, Take in as many tips as I can, but because so many people who have, you know, played this game for so long have been around and giving me tips, I can't take all of them and I just can't remember them all. <laughs> so I'm trying. Uh, but the big one is getting a, a big cargo thing. I also want to take a look at uh, the new ones that just popped up. I'm not going to worry about going bounty hunting quite yet. We might go out here as well. While we're out there, you know, we might make a, a, a chip, trip to the derelict shipped out here if we can. We'll see. All right, we're just gonna, I'm not gonna do our quantum jump unless we need to. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into hyperspace from legal jumping points. We'll pop five on, we'll turn off our transponder and we'll move. Uh, appreciate the tip as well for those who said like, keep sustain burn on, but if I wanna do a hard turn, pause it, turn off sustain burn, reorient yourself, let them turn and then put it back on. It's the best way to do it. I think we leveled up as well. I heard, did we not? Maybe that was just money coming in. Oh yeah, I think we got our monthly payment. Close enough, close enough. All right, let's go through the nebula here. Is this Corvus? So let's actually just jump into Jungala. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on our transponder. Rip through time and space. We're just gonna go to the orbiting station for now. 
and we'll use this. And staying in the core worlds to do shopping like this is, is also safer for us. I mean, we're we're still very, very weak. Very, very weak, so I'm not going to worry about uh, too much. All right, let's see. I'd like a carrier of some sort. I think somebody said a shepherd is like the best to go for early game. Missile cruiser. I mean, look at that. Look at that tanker. Oh, oh, one day. I mean, we're rolling with tiny baby tankers right now, but maybe one day. Is a freighter like something that I can use to carry? Oh, this one's damaged. Uh, increased maintenance. It's kind of annoying. Not the worst. Medium cargo hauling in the sector. The Buffalo class freighter exemplifies load and prey principle prevalent in this uh, sector shipping. Sporting just a single small weapon emplacement. So we wouldn't even bring this into combat. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to like if we're not going to. It's 36,000 credits and it comes with a D mod. Absolutely not. Combat freighter, just a mule. That's so expensive. I mean, we could afford it. It's just not what I want. Salvage rig, maybe. We haven't messed with the, sh oh, the shepherd right here. Drone tender. Wait, is this what people, this is what they said I should get? Or the one person? That's the standard for civilian drone tenders with unmatched reliability. Maybe it's shepherd class, like carrier is what I'm looking for. Maybe it's just a type of ship. Various survivalists and pirate groups, AK Mamash. Also, thank you for those who said me selling off those things to the black market. I basically gave pirates good ships. Whoops. 100 cargo capacity. And this is our car. This will add 100 to our cargo capacity. And we have, uh, I mean, that's not bad. If we were to take the combat freighter, I'm curious. 250 cargo capacity. This ship has been heavily modified and poorly maintained by it. So we're buying off pirates here. Can we buy off uh, the hegemony? A little base stuff, not much. Yeah, none of this is great. I mean, we could honestly like... <sighs> Maybe we will just, just grab the, the shepherd. It's cheap. It doesn't have any D mods on it. Yeah, all right, I'm going to grab one. I'm going to grab this. It comes with surveying equipment and a salvage gantry, which I know is valuable, even though I don't know what it freaking means. Oh, we can actually like look at everything over here. All right, all right, I'm taking it. Black market, I don't care. Okay. Uh, It's going to be crude. Let's uh, refit this thing. I don't need to give it much. I'm actually probably just going to auto fit this thing. Surveying equipment. Yeah, this all comes with serving equipment, so we're going to take a look at what this does here. But I can also give it reinforced bulkheads. I might even just give it my own stuff. Let's see. Serving equipment reduces the heavy machine. Oh, wow. Heavy machinery costs. It reduces it. Increases resources gained. Oh, yeah, this is I can see why this is valuable. All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and frontier up this thing. We spent a little bit of money on, on modding it up, but that's fine. I'm just going to have some fighter based stuff. You know, I'm fine with that. Are we good on crew? I do not know. I want to pop over here. Just allow the scan. While scans find no overt contraband, the quantity of cargo found combined with the indirect evidence of your prior black market activities is enough to raise suspicions. Oh shit. With Freya Mooney, this person particularly does not like me. So if she's in the system, and she sees me, she might harass me more. That's a problem. Uh, I'll see you again. You can be sure of it. She grinds. It's fine. We didn't we didn't lose it. Let's leave. Uh, I just want to I want to buy stuff. Uh, so I want to I want to refuel completely. Uh, I'm assuming we have high suspicion right now. Yeah, so we'll just buy on the market. If we refuel completely, it's going to cost us a, a ton of money. I would love to finish up on max out our supplies here. 43,000. Ugh, so much money. Where's our best place to sell this? Because if we're going to do this, I'm fine. I just got to go sell some stuff. Actually, you know what? We can go to our storage place not too far and store most of the weapons. Let's just buy it. They can be happy that we spent some money in their sector and they got to collect some tax. Uh, but we're going to pop out to Galatia really quickly here. It's all about 
trip prep, and that's something that I gotta get better at, is like prepping for the long haul. But now you can actually see our, sh our little fleet's getting big. Little rundown ships, nothing special, but still. All right, transponder off. Sustained burn on, let's move. Ooh. Really want to see what this is. Derelict ship Condor class light carrier. The ship is adrift and powered down. Closer inspection may yield salvage or recovery operation. So it looks like there was a fight out here and some some ship was left alone. We're going to go ahead and explore the derelict ship. We will be 100% fine. Okay. I want it all. I'm going to leave the metals, I think. We're a little over encumbered. But we're right there, so I'm just going to confirm. Take it. I don't want to jump in near the star, so we'll just come pop over here. And we actually leapt into the system here. So we're actually going to have a much smaller signal, but it doesn't really matter. The Darren Q mining station is still independent. They're no longer considered pirates. And I want to uh, quickly jump into my storage. Whoa! Oh, I think they came in through the, the hole. Uh, the tear. It's a mercantile convoy. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Let's sell. How much are we going to sell for here? Not much, but we do have our storage. So let's pop in here. We'll come back to Corvus when we need it, but that's going to open up some space. I want to see where I can get some good market price. Base value is 200 a unit, but where are we going to sell it? Uh, Nobody really needs it, so we can just kind of... You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to put it in, in my store. There's no reason for me to hang on to it. There's no one that's buying at like the appro appropriate price. So I'm not going to worry about it. I think now, with our fuel maxed, it's a dangerous roll out ride, and I'm really scared to do it. But it's also exciting. So... We've got a long, long road ahead of us, so I'm going to swing into the sector. We can get there and we can get back. Wow, the fuel we have with how much fuel we have, we can actually we'll, we can hit this whole system and get back. That's great and beyond if we ever so choose for no reason. I don't even know if you can go, but. All right, we're just going to go ahead and, and use the uh, ooh, ooh. I see, you know, what? instead of going through there, I want you to pull back. You know, we're just going to traverse jump. I don't want to go around the sun. Just screw it. Just get me out of here. It's going to cost some damage to our ships, but I'm all right with it. Transponder off. Sustained burn on. Resume course. Let's go. Okay, we're taking some damage. I got I to gotta scroll out here. The nebula is causing some problems. Our fleet's all right. The This one's not doing so hot. So actually, let's just, let's just sit here. Let's just go dark. Let's just wait up. Wait for some of, uh... Our repairs to finish here. Okay. And that's... Says repairs are complete. Put on sustained burn again. There's just a lot of patchy nebula clouds here, so... We got a lot of dangerous nastiness to be running into. Yep, there it goes. Suffers damage. So, okay, we can kind of do that. Okay, I like that. We can kind of just hard turn out. Around the nebulas forever. Ah, oh, we literally got popped into the corner of that as the storm was happening. I'm nervous, cause like, I don't know, the AI core could make us rich. I don't know how much this man plans on paying us, honestly. Off we go. I don't like this. Let's go into the sector map for a moment. 
We're far from where we need to be. All right, let's just go through it. Go, go, go. Pray. Oh, that's huge. Okay, we're gonna stop. Go dark. We're sitting in a very interesting spot. We got a lot of people that are hurt, but we're all right. We're still alive. 92 supplies left. We're going about one a day, seven a day out here, actually. Shit. Oh, we need more supplies. I didn't even think of that. Okay. We have no idea. I'm just hoping we'll find some supplies while we're out. <sighs> Do I just go through this nebula? I don't know. Let's just wait it out. I think we're about there. Okay. Here we go. Sustained burn off. We're actually going to go dark and we're going to pop out while we're dark. In case there's things here. Rough shot certainly is no stranger to trying to sneaking into systems to accomplish tasks either way. Oh, we're right there. Oh, it's right there. All right. New planet data. Uh, N Yang is a barren world. All right. Let's just very quietly make it over to this technology cache. Staying dark. No need for a transponder. I'd like to ping, but I feel like pinging will be bad. It's just floating in this ring. All right, we're going to explore. As your fleet moves closer, new energy signatures are detected near the technology cache. Remnant automated defenses. Ready for deployment. Ready for deployment. Ready for deployment. TTDS risks reward glimmer class support drone ship. A couple of drones. This feels bad. If I leave. Unfortunately, because there's defenses there, I don't think I can do anything about it. And that's a problem because we're low on resources and I was really hoping that I could get some, but not going to happen with our current situation. Ooh, we got something else over here, though. Let's do a ping. Derelict mule class combat freighter. Hey, maybe we could use that. Oh, minor weapons. The, the ship's memory banks are partially accessible and contain information indicating that a minor weapons cache is located in the heart of the beta phonus star system. All right, well, let's actually begin salvage. We needed the supplies. I'll take it all. And I would like, is there, is there anything I can do over here? Perform a survey. I, I don't have the supplies. That's the problem. It's the supplies. So now I'm kind of screwed, right? Came all the way out here expecting to be able to make a quick buck. And the unfortunate truth of the matter is that we can't. There is a minor weapons cache up here and a bounty. Ah, uh, it's a base. And then isn't there down here? There was another bounty or something. No, there was a there was another job over here, which we might want to just do. Looks like there's something else up here. Minor supply cache. I'll, you know what? I'll take it. It's something. We'll do a little exploration. We need to take what we can get. Whoa. A cache of supplies, weapons, and other equipment. Uh, we'll go ahead and explore. Do we want this? Derain, degraded engines and erratic fuel injector? I think we're just going to scuttle it. Just take what we can get. Yeah, again, the supplies are fantastic. A little bit of uh, transplutonics are going to go a long way to making us a little bit more cash. At least it hasn't been a completely dead experience out here. Like we're able to find some useful stuff. But I just don't, I just do not think we can take like bizarre high end security right now. 
Also, it's important to note we're not getting a lot of new jobs out here because the when jobs go out, they start where they where they were sent out and then they kind of spread across space. So I'm so far away from the core worlds that whatever jobs are coming out my way are going to take a while for my computers to pick them up. Man, I, I don't know. This thing looks insane. Brilliant class star. Like, what am I supposed to do? I just don't think I can do anything about this. So I think we're going to get out of here. Uh, we'll have to, we, we maybe can come back at another time. The rough shot at least came here and, and made some salvage. And if we're lucky, we'll end up getting a coming across ourselves some, uh, some other jobs along the way back. But we're definitely going to need to start making our way back. I swear there was other things down here, but I'm, I'm think the derelict ship, somebody else got to it or it's gone. 25 days remaining. It'll take me 30, 53, 56 days to even get there. I guess we should start heading back toward the core worlds and then uh, maybe grab some supplies. We'll go to Corvus, grab some supplies if we can. And if we pick up a job along the way, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, it's a bummer, uh, but that's just part of it. We got to we got to learn the hard way sometimes that there are just certain things that are just not going to be for rough shot right now. Plenty of us for us to learn, but we still are still trying to get our fleet underneath our feet. We give ourselves a good foundation to work from. Whoop. Look how fast they're going. Let's just stay where we are. They're not going to try and turn around. They're going to try and catch us in a storm. Good luck to them. Way out here, I don't know who or why or unable to continue ongoing repairs. We're out of supplies and we are so far away. Some ships in your fleet are in danger of suffering uh, zero. Uh, uh, we got a mothball. Who we got a mothball? Mothball, mothball. We got to keep going. We just got to push. We might have to detour. We're using extra supplies because we're at capacity, but it's fine. Whoa. What? Did you hear that? Like, uh, distress call on for the Gamma Gimdi. I just don't have any supplies. So even if you're in trouble, I'm sorry. I can't help. Oh, we got to use interdiction pulse more. Oh, hey, we're in the core system. So here comes all the jobs. Not going to go dark. Transponder on. Let's get to Pontus. Let's get resupplied. And then we'll look at the jobs that all popped up when we hit the core worlds. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's buy some supplies. As our suspicion, we have none, so we're gonna go cheap on supplies right now because we need to. Gonna grab a hundred of them. Confirm. And then we will repair. Are we gonna about to get yelled at? Yep. Yeah, we're clean. Thank you. Appreciate you trying to get me in trouble. No dockyard here, I'm assuming. Where, where else do we got? Makeshift comm relays. The Galatia gate. Are we, are we all, re we're not even close to repaired. Unmothball, unmothball. I don't know why it's taking so long to friggin' repair. Why can't I repair? Oh, I need 120 supplies. Holy shit. 117 supplies. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna black market buy the rest. Kinda have to. Confirm. Repair, Jesus Christ. Buy more. Off the black market, just all of it. 
Wow, we're really broke. Okay, uh, we need to do a job. We need we need money, and that that freaking lead that that guy gave us is not not nearly remotely what I needed. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. 31 days remaining. He is 31 days out. Not gonna risk it. Uh, let's see. You've got a Falcon Light Class Striker, an Enforcer, a Mule, a Mule, a Wolf, a Cerberus, and a Vigilance, and up to 10 other ships that might be of insignificance. Great. One day on that one, we're just gonna let that go. We got two distress calls, not too far out. I think I'm just gonna let them go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do on this. Toggle whether this is tagged as important. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything with my intel data other than keep it for myself. I thought I, I don't know if I can do anything. All right, let's see what she has. Maybe somebody down here. I've got 350 units of domestic goods that urgently need to be delivered to Cruor in the Asconia star system. Recent pirate activity has been making that difficult, but you look like someone who could get the job done. You recall? Yeah, we got Sindrian Dictat control. Not far. We have 208 units of cargo. And she wants to take 350 units out. Can I free up enough room in cargo? What if I put some machinery in storage for now? We can come back for it, but we need a job. Okay, we receive authorization codes to access the dockside warehouse and contact your quartermaster with instructions to begin loading the cargo. So we're gonna load up all this domestic goods. It's a, it's a cheap payday, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal as far as delivery is concerned. It's very, very easy. All we need to go is here. And uh, we should have that inside. Yeah, we're good. So let's, and we'll swing back to Corvus after this. This is a very easy job that Roughshot, while he's not proud to take, certainly realizes he kind of has to take it. Ooh, a debris field, huh? Oh, this is the Galatia Gate. Oh, this is the one that got brought down. A silent ring of material derelict of a former age. Let's just get out of here. more heavy armaments. For whatever reason, they want heavy armaments, and I wonder if it's because the pirates got good ships. Hey! Whoops. We'll turn this off. We're just gonna put on sustained burn. We're just trying to get there as quickly as we can. Okay, a little bit of monthly income goes a long way. Alright, we, we want to go over here, and I would like to take a look again at where I'm supposed to be delivering this. Ooh, they want a probe. 120 days to complete, 29 at base. We might do that. Kuror is where we need to go. Oh, we're going to turn this off. Nope. In we go. Whoa, a lot of pirates, right? Yeah. I don't, oh, there it is, crew war. I guess we're already kind of over there. Is this it? Yeah, it's right here. We actually loaded in right next to it. The world's crust is squeezed and cracked by the powerful tidal forces of Salus, causing regular quakes and eruptions. Abundant geysers of volatile gases maintain a thin, toxic atmosphere and combine with iron compounds to give Kruor its sanguine coloration. Tracked rigs roam from more, the more stable surface provinces, ripping out rare or merely convenient ores for export while corroding ruins of machines can occasionally uh, be, be seen be seen amidst the scars of strip mining. Dark rumors circulate about the conditions of mobile label, labor camps by Dictot Intelligence. Your fleet transmit identification codes via the transponder and you are soon granted docking clearance. We made, we got, we went up to four. And we made some money. 
Interestingly, though, now we can see what they have to sell. 20,000 is, you know, at least helping us out a little bit. Uh, they got decent defenses. A colony with high accessibility is able to import and export more goods and can claim a, high, a greater market share, which is good. I'm just curious. They have a pirate activity. Their stability ain't great. They have nine stability. We might be able to help them out while we're here. We'll repair. I kind of am curious what they've got on the market to buy. All right, not much. I'm happy I made the delivery. I'm curious though. Are these all pirates? They're engaged in battle. Oh, someone is pre <laughs> someone's chasing our fleet. Oh God, pirate raiders. Huh. Open a comm link. Ooh. We can try. I don't know if we can make this. We'll give it a shot. They don't want to. They don't want to talk. They just want to fight. Support destroyer. It's this thing here that scares me. Degraded engines. It's gonna be slow. Attempt to disengage. It doesn't work. Crash mothball. That's cool. All right, we're in. And it looks like we're all in. Everybody's behind us. However, I'm going to send... Hmm. They're coming in from behind, but we're all right. Back up. Why am I going so crazy far? Why can't I move? What's happening? The hell just happened? I like literally couldn't do anything and I don't didn't see anything crazy happening. Pop the shield back the hell out. Turn around. I don't know what's going on here. We're hurt big time. We're gl like gliding along here. Screw it. Let's see if I can get these smaller ships. Uh oh. Oop. Okay, one down. I would like everybody on her, <laughs> except for the two of you, maybe on the smaller one. But I really want to like let this go. I don't like all these things. Let's back up. We're a little overloaded. Don't like that at all. We're floating. Just gonna let it go. We're gonna swing back in and try and kill her off. We have no missiles left. Throw up our shield. Okay, she's down. That's the leader down. I'm gonna stay back. I'm gonna stay back a little bit because we're going AI here. I really want to finish them off. Shield. Big ships down. Okay, down. We're going to win this, I think. It didn't go well. I'm not happy with how it went. I'm just 
guys are bringing, bringing these drones into the, or missiles into the auto range here. Everybody move in on him. Shields up for me because I can't lose his hammerhead. We took it down. Back up. What is this? Let's take it. Take it. Good. Are they running? Are they not claiming victory yet? Everybody move in on him. Or up here? I don't know where you're going. Oh, he can't... I think his, his shields might be busted. Okay, move in. A little out of range. Oh, he took out our shield. Ram him. This hull's super hurt. We're gonna back up. Let the sh the the our flux kind of work its way down. Running, boy. Move in, wolves. That's it. Did we do it? Is there more? Okay, well, there's still more, and they have not given up. up. Bring him back into the range of our actual fighting ships while I sit here and take out. Oh, see ya, dude. Okay, here they are. Last one, maybe. Come on. Wow, you actually sniped me from behind. We're still gonna, I think, take this, but it's a lesson learned. Yep, there they go. And they're gonna run, so I'm gonna take this victory. Okay. And we lost... a lot. We lost 28 crew and no marines. 70 crew and no marines were lost. After the battle, 20 crew and no marines were rescued from life pods, so we got 28. Several ships were disabled. Can we not get our... Hmm. I think our hammerhead might be gone. We'll have to buy another one and re-outfit it. I kind of want one of these. But they're so fridged. I'm just going to say no. We're gonna pick through the wreckage. We got, I mean, we got a lot of stuff. We'll take all of it, but I'm assuming our hammerhead is gone and we're gonna need to redo hammerhead stuff. Meanwhile, it looks like they're fighting a base. We'll repair. And uh, we're going to have to pick up another hammerhead. I think we're just going to get out of here, go to where we can probably buy one. And go from there. Not the greatest end. But, I mean, it's still, like, not bad. Also, maybe in industry, we should start putting some points in. I think we'll go either safety procedures or recovery options. I think we'll start with recovery. And rough shot at level 11 and not feeling super good about everything that went down. I think all we did was lose our hammerhead. Yeah, we only lost our hammerhead. That's not that bad. 
we can recover that and we should have all the weapons. We'll get out of here and head back to the Corvus system after. What a, what a rough week of work for a rough shop.